Have you ever felt like your mind is constantly racing, filled with thoughts you can't seem to control or stop? This common experience often leaves us feeling trapped in a whirlwind of thoughts, leading to a sense of suffering or struggle. However, the struggle we experience isn't really about us at all. In this text, we will explore a new perspective on how we perceive the activity of our minds. This fresh viewpoint could be a turning point for you, offering a path to rise above the mind and its deceptive games. One key insight to grasp is that this realization can happen right now, in this moment. It's not about stopping your thoughts by using your mind, which is like trying to stop ocean waves by pushing them down with your hands. Instead, it's about transcending the mind and its illusions, stepping back and observing your thoughts without getting caught up in them. Have you ever noticed how certain thoughts pop into your head uninvited and often unwelcome? These might be worries about the future or negative scenarios. Our natural reaction is often to resist these thoughts, asking ourselves why we are thinking them and wishing to stop them. This resistance can lead to a state of internal conflict, almost as if there are two forces at war within our minds. One part of us recognizes that we are not our thoughts we understand, at least intellectually, that thoughts happen without our control. Yet, despite this knowledge, there's a disconnect. We don't fully grasp this truth in our day-to-day -day experiences, so we end up fighting with our own minds, trying to push away or stop certain thoughts. This internal battle can make us feel like there are two entities inside our brain constantly in opposition, as if there's a you. Inside your mind and a kind of adversary also dwelling there. This is the essence of what we call mind attacks. These attacks are relentless, leaving us feeling uncomfortable, anxious, and stressed. However, the crucial thing to understand is that this entire turmoil is an illusion. It's a trap we fall into, believing that we are an active participant in this mental chaos. As we delve deeper, engage in a simple yet profound exercise of self-realization. This isn't about believing in a concept or accepting an idea blindly rather. It's an invitation to observe and experience something fundamental about your true nature beyond the confines of your mind. Recognize that you are awareness itself, the foundation that allows everything else to exist. When I refer to you, it's important not to picture your physical form. You are not limited to a shape, an image, or any physical sensation. You are formless, beyond any physical attributes. The mind, with its thoughts, concepts, and imaginations, cannot truly define or create you. You exist independently of these mental constructs. You are a presence that has always been beyond the reach of words or thoughts. The truth of your existence is not something that can be conceptualized or imagined it is far more profound and fundamental. Consider this scenario your mind starts spiraling into anxiety and fear. These thoughts trigger emotions in the body, which you might believe to be you. However, aren't you also aware of these feelings? This awareness is effortless and constant. It's always there, observing everything that happens including the thoughts and the physical sensations they evoke. When your mind goes into overdrive, it might seem like these thoughts are happening to you. But this you who feels attacked or overwhelmed is, in fact, just another thought, part of the mental chatter not your true essence. Your true essence is the awareness that observes all these thoughts and feelings. When you refer to me, where does your attention go? Often, it goes to the body or a sense of self that feels solid and real. But this sense of me is not your true self, it's a construct of the mind, an identity created and sustained by thoughts and perceptions. The, the body, which we often identify with, is an object within our awareness. It's something you observe and experience, but it's not what you are. The body doesn't think or create thoughts, the mind does this. The mind constructs the idea of me, often associating it with the body. However, if you try to find this me within your experience, you'll notice it's elusive. It's not a tangible entity, it's a creation of the mind, a part of the ego. The ego is where this sense of self seems to exist, but it's not real in the way we typically understand reality. It's not your true essence. Your true essence is the awareness that observes the ego, the thoughts, and the body. 
This awareness is constant and unchanging, unlike the ever-fluctuating thoughts and emotions. When your mind seems to be in a state of constant turmoil, it's actually a kind of internal debate or conflict within the mind itself. It's as if different parts of the mind are arguing with each other. This can become a self-perpetuating cycle, especially when you invest a lot of attention and energy into these mental arguments. The more you focus on them, the more intense and frequent they become. This is often because of the belief that your identity is intertwined with the mind, making these thoughts incredibly captivating and powerful. So, what can you do in such situations? The key lies in the simplicity of just being. This means stepping back into your true nature as consciousness, as pure awareness, and simply existing in that state. It's an effortless process there is no doing in being. You don't need to actively do anything, just be present and notice. An important realization here is that you are inherently aware of your thoughts. Awareness is your natural state. You don't have to make an effort to be aware of your thoughts, it happens automatically, because that is what you truly are. Recognizing this can be both liberating and empowering. You realize that being aware is not something you need to achieve, it's simply a matter of acknowledging and embracing your natural state. The practice then becomes one of choice choosing to stay in this state of awareness rather than getting entangled with the mind. When the mind starts to flip out, let it be. Understand that these mental gymnastics are not happening to you. You, as pure awareness, are separate from these thoughts and emotions they cannot affect your true nature. This perspective becomes particularly profound when dealing with physical sensations like pain. Even when the body experiences pain, it's not you in the deepest sense who is feeling it. It's the body that registers the pain, and you are the awareness of this sensation. Nothing can truly happen to awareness itself, it remains untouched and unharmed, observing all that occurs without being impacted. Remember, you are formless, boundless, and cannot be pinpointed to a specific location. You are everywhere and nowhere simultaneously, akin to space itself. This understanding is crucial when dealing with the turbulence of the mind, especially during what we refer to as mind attacks. Imagine yourself as a vast open space. Within this space, various things arise thoughts, emotions, sensations, but they do not define the space. They are simply phenomena occurring within it. Your true self, as this boundless space, allows these experiences to arise without the need to push them away, reject them, or become entangled in them. This is the art of being allowing things to happen without getting involved. In this state of being, the mind naturally begins to quiet down. The thoughts that seem so loud and demanding lose their significance, they become like background noise noticeable, but not defining. Your attachment to these thoughts is what causes suffering, not the thoughts themselves. By releasing this attachment, you find peace. When you experience mind attacks, view them as opportunities for growth and transcendence. Instead of dreading these moments, welcome them. They are chances for you to expand your inner space, to deepen your understanding of your true nature. You don't need to actively change your thoughts instead. Focus on returning to your true being, disidentifying from the mind and anything with form. As you do this, your thoughts will naturally realign and change. Meditation is a powerful tool in this journey, but it's important to approach it with the right understanding. Meditation is not about stopping your thoughts, that's a common misconception. The true purpose of meditation is not to do something but to allow something to happen. It's about realizing your true nature as awareness, as the observer of all that occurs. In meditation, you are not trying to achieve a particular state, rather, you are allowing yourself to be in your natural state. This means letting everything be as it is. When you close your eyes and meditate, the external world fades away and you turn inward. In this inward space, allow thoughts, sensations and emotions to come and go without effort. It's not about controlling or directing the experience, but about being present and aware. As you practice this form of meditation, you will gradually come to a profound realization of what you truly are. This realization brings a sense of liberation and peace that transcends the fluctuations of the mind and the external world. 
It is a journey of discovery, one that reveals the boundless, peaceful essence at the core of your being. I hope you have found some insight in this exploration of the spiritual journey. It is a path to inner peace and self-realization, where letting go of mind attacks becomes effortless once you fully grasp the concept. Remember, the essence of your being is always there, quietly existing beneath the noise of your thoughts. By embracing this awareness, you can navigate the mental turmoil and find true peace. I wish you a beautiful day on your journey of self-discovery.